Philly to Dallas to Oklahoma City. Man, this is Oklahoma Route 81 North. Going through the town of Kingfisher. Golden Chick. There's Sonic. <laughs> and there's a sign for Enid. We're heading up north. South Gate Road. Yeah, we're heading to downtown Enid. been very supportive. Uh, this year, last year, we had Shannon Monona, Gaslight Theater, Rick's Pharmacy, and the Arts Oklahoma, I'm sorry, the Oklahoma Arts Council. Uh, we want to make sure and thank them. We also had a few others, Adoption Services of Oklahoma, uh, the Enid Symphony Center, Maple Place Bed and Breakfast, Southern House Bed and Breakfast Inn, and Continental Management. So they've allowed us to do what we did this year. And we want to thank 580, of course, for making those sandwiches and getting tea. Uh, they did this last year for us and, and really helped us out in like feeding people. Um, anybody here does not like movies? <laughs> okay, good. I don't have to tell anyone to get out. So, uh, please enjoy yourselves. If you have questions, feel free to call us or stop us if you see us running around. Uh, yes? Get out. <laughs> We're gonna climb this mountain, so we'll see it from the top. From here, this is red carpet country, the great state of Oklahoma. A lot of uh, red, red earth. Hmm. A little cliff here. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to fall there. So here we are. I knew like, I knew a lot of people would be 
black and white, and do the whole but that's sure. Psycho, everybody loves me. Yeah. So it's a little different. Yeah. They'd be inspired a little bit by murder. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a good job. Thank you. Uh, hey, tell us about your film. Yes, uh, mine was a, I guess, a modern day version of a Rear Window. Figured, you know, might as well do found footage. That's really popular style now. So it was from the viewpoint of a neighbor. He's up in the top window, and he sees this guy going in and out of the garage, and he gets suspicious. So eventually, he goes down to try and find out what is happening. And well, we don't know what happens still at the end, but maybe something does, as the music would suggest. So just kind of like a modern day revisioning in less than a minute of what that would be like. And um, also, I, I just want to talk a few minutes about, or a few seconds about Ten Square. If you're ever looking to get into the movies, and ever ever looking to get your creative side out. Ten Square is the place to do it. It's it's free. You can submit music, monologues, writing, acting, whatever it is. I mean, it, they come up with things like this, like challenges, like you saw with the Hitchcock challenge, and it's just it really gets you thinking. Like like that was what 51 seconds. I mean, that took probably four hours of writing just to kind of come up with what you're going to do, and I would say seven to eight hours of editing just to get it right. But I would have never thought of that had you know there had time limit on it and all that kind of stuff. So if you're if you're really looking to get into the movies or the entertainment business of any kind, I would say you can truly build your audience on Ten Square. Very good plug. Brian? Um, my wife uh, and I we do like puppet theater in El Paso and uh, we went to we went to Hitchcock Challenge so I wrote out a script. And uh, we when do like some of the staples like black and whites uh, we wanted to add humor in a picture of Hitchcock, so because you we watch his films, he always has like a cameo somehow in all his films. The only thing that we couldn't do is like the attractive shot, oh. just because of a uh, time and location. Sure. So we decided to uh, uh, use like the puppets that she made. So she did all the puppeteering and got fans to record the voices. We wanted to do like the back and white star, our sci-fi like, code, fifties and sixties. And that's why we did like a part one and a part two. Because it was still too long. Because it's really hard to make something like 60 seconds. Yeah. But since we're both 10 square members, you know, and there just wasn't any rules about it, like, okay, I'll do part one, mm -hmm. and in my name, we should do part two and different. Even though we both work on loopholes. You use them when you find them. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but we weren't prepared for the puppet, so that, that surprised all of us. Now, I have a quick winner. Come on, come on into the light. Do we have to keep an eye on him until animal control gets here? Well, if he goes in the field, I'm just say buy a snake. <laughs> Did 
He looks badass though, don't he? Yeah, he probably, he probably partied too hard last night. <laughs> Eddie Cayazzo here representing Tent Square. It's awesome in downtown. This is the, it's an actually an awesome property. And we'll show you some of the inside as well, uh, where they're screening the films. Woo, fly. Films like yours. And this is downtown unit. Going on, man. And do you mind being on camera? Oh, yeah, I don't know. This is another 10 square member, Kyle, last name Spears. Spears. I did it, Kyle Spears. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Enid for the Fly Film Festival, baby. There they are, Hitchcock Challenge. Film Festival, looking good. Nate has made it as well. And we got the uh, screen over here, and then we'll show you. Actually, you can't go in that way. We'll show you some of the screen rooms. Here's the one for the short films. Hitchcock challenge film. Come into the lobby here. So trophies, trophies, trophies. Awesome special effects display. We'll take it in here. This is the, gonna be the main screening room for the feature length films. Theater here, huh? And in a yeah, Center Symphony Hall. It's up there. Feature length films in here. And we'll go out this door. Will 
Smith said that in uh, Fresh Prince and it caught on in Philly. Everybody's heroes, all the filmmakers and fans, the Fly Film Fest 2015. Everybody say hi. Hi. Woo! All right. And there's the, there's the, uh, the great backdrop that nobody wants a picture in front of. <laughs> Off the trophies up there.